What is she doing here? And why is she wearing pilot wings? That's First Officer Osborne. She's a new pilot on the airline. What's the world coming to? What do you mean, Captain Bernhardt? First they let men become stewardesses, and now women pilots? They have female fighter pilots. Your logic is all wrong. If a fighter pilot makes a mistake, it only affects her. If she's flying commercial, she dooms over a hundred other people. Well, hopefully you won't have to worry about that. Yeah, as long as she's not on my flight. Oh, it's you. Hey, grab me a cup of coffee before we take off, will you, darling? You want coffee? Yeah, you might think this thing's powered by jet fuel, but coffee is what really makes me take off. I don't get coffee. Now give me that cup of coffee pronto, will you, Missy? <sighs> Can you get me a coffee for Captain Bernhardt? Of course. I see you met Captain Blowhard. Is that what you call him? Yeah, his reputation is well known. Most of us try to avoid his routes. This time, I drew the low card. Sounds like I'm in for a bumpy flight. You should be fine. I assume you're here for a ride along? No, I'm co-pilot on this flight. I don't envy you. Don't worry about me. I've dealt with tough adversaries in the service. Well, you're in for a new one. He's a true Neanderthal. Hopefully you can put him in his place. I got this. Well, in that case, here's his coffee. <laughs> First Officer Osborne is a new pilot for the airline. But Captain Bernhard thinks women shouldn't fly a plane. What will happen when they have to work together? Here's your coffee. Good. Now let me do my job. I will. But first, I don't think we've been formally introduced. Okay. Get it over with. I'm First Officer Osborne. Your co-pilot? What? How can you be my co-pilot? The airline hired me for that. I think it's up to them. No, it's up to me. I'm in charge of this aircraft. I don't know about that. I just do what I'm told. Well, I'm telling you to leave this cockpit now. This is no place for a woman. That's the most uninformed statement I've ever heard. I would expect that coming from someone like you. And why don't you think there should be women pilots? Like I need to explain it to you. But fine, I will. Hopefully it'll get through to that tiny brain. Oh, <laughs> this ought to be enlightening. All you have to do is look at history. For 10,000 years, ladies have been the weaker ones. Their main job was to stay home, have babies, clean the house, and do whatever they had to to please their men. I didn't rise up through the ranks of the service without having to deal with my share of dinosaurs like you. I had to apply three times to the academy, but got overlooked before I got a fair shake. Then, after I graduated, I joined the service, and I was the last one to get time flying, despite being the top of my class. I even had to pass life-saving courses the men weren't required to take. So I'm used to getting passed over and treated like I'm not worthy. Obviously it's not them, it's you. All the same, just making excuses. Regardless of what you say, I'm not leaving this plane. I've already got a bum heart. Don't make it worse. Tell you what, I'll let you ride back with the passengers. Maybe make yourself useful and pass out some drinks. I'll leave now. But you're not through with me. <sighs> <sighs> How 
was Captain Chaos. I see you're back so soon. He tried to kick me off the plane, but he only succeeded in throwing me out of the cockpit. I'll just be glad when he retires. I thought guys like him had tenure. They can't fire him or make him retire early. That's right, but Bernhardt might have to retire early anyway. Seriously? Why is that? He may get a med discharge. He gets so worked up, I heard he may have messed up his ticker. Now I know why he needs a co-pilot. I'll have to deal with this when we get to Dallas. Where can I sit? There's an empty row in first. Get in here! Yes, sir. What is it, Captain Bernhardt? Why is she here? Did you have something to do with that? No, but she seems like a great asset to the airline. Don't get me started. You know I can't take the stress. Is the airline doing this on purpose? I doubt it. Maybe you should learn to relax. I am relaxed! Now get me another cup of coffee! You should lay off the caffeine. Do you want me sleeping up here? Bernhardt. That must be why the plane is gyrating. Let's go. What happened? We almost lost you. Uh, luckily, I revived you. And what's with all the warning lights? The plane was going down. You slumped right on top of the controls. You saved the plane. You saved the passengers. Just doing my job. And you saved me. That's right. You're lucky it had only been a couple seconds. I was wrong about you. And I was too pig-headed to see it. Like I said, I'm used to it. I've seen the light. I made a decision. I'm going to retire from the airline, and I'm going to recommend you as captain. Congratulations, you're now a pilot. A pilot? I don't know how to fly a plane. Oh, don't worry about that. Just act like you do, and the first officer will take care of everything. Flight 312, departing for New York, JFK. Seniors aren't allowed on this plane. Isn't this a flight to Las Vegas? Yes, it is. But it's for singles only, not octogenarians. Well, I am single ever since my dear Walter left us. Not surprising. I wouldn't want to be around either if I was married to you. What? Why would you say such a thing? I don't have time for your antics. Either you get out of here or I'm gonna have you thrown out. I shouldn't have to leave. I'm supposed to be on this flight. Fine, have it your way. I'll have the airline take care of it. Excuse me, but we have a problem. What is it, ma'am? There's a senior citizen on our flight, and you need to get rid of her. Really? I thought this flight was all singles. Exactly. And if I were you, I wouldn't want to be around if my boss found out. 
Well, in that case, let me see if she has a ticket. You better. Pamela wants the older flyer thrown off the flight because it is supposed to be for singles only. What will the airline do about it? Is this seat taken? No. Are you one of the contestants? Yes, for Love is in the Air. It's so exciting, isn't it? I know. 16 singles competing on reality TV. Who wouldn't be excited? It's a million dollars after all. I know. I'm surprised they would even be carrying around that kind of money. Yeah, if I win, I hope they have security for the flight home. Excuse me, ma'am? Yes, what is it? That woman over there said you're not supposed to be on this flight. Well, that's not right. I should be able to be on this flight if I want to. Well, the thing is, a TV studio booked this plane and they decide who gets to be on it. I must be okay then because I have a ticket. Oh, you have a ticket? I didn't know. Yes, do you need to see it? Yes, if you don't mind. Fine, but I don't see why anybody would fly this airline. Sorry to bother you. Oh, look, there's Pamela. She's the director of the show. What's that case she's got? Is that the money? It must be. Why else would she carry around a case like that, cuffed to her wrist? So what's the big deal? Why am I here? Because aren't you interested in making a major score? Of course I am. But what kind of score can there be at the airport? How about a million dollars in cash? How does that sound? One million? What are you talking about? There's a woman over at gate 35 with a million dollars in her carry-on. That's easy. Just point her out, I'll bump into her and take it. Just like we did with that woman with the jewelry last winter. It's not that easy this time. It's cuffed to her wrist. <laughs> oh, great. I left my bolt cutters at home. It's okay. Here's my plan. I'll get the case away from her, and you get it out of the airport. All right, but only if I get my 50%. Fine, but you better not be disappearing on me. Tiffany and Clint want to take the prize money from Pamela. Will their plan work? So ma'am, I checked with that passenger and she does have a ticket. She has every right to be on this flight. Ah, then you need to cancel it. If she has a ticket, how do you expect me to cancel it? This entire flight is booked for our TV show, Love is in the Air. And I think I would know who should be on it. Ma'am, I just work for this airline. I don't decide who's on the flight. You won't be working here much longer if my boss, Mr. Parker, finds out about this. Who? Who's Mr. Parker? Does he work for the airline? Uh, no. Terry Parker is the executive producer on this show, and I'm expecting him here any minute. You know what? Fine. Let me see if I can put her on a different flight. You better! Excuse me, are you with that TV show, Love? Love is in the air? Yeah, I'm the director. I hate to bring this up, but we have a security concern. Security concern? What, what is it? That carry-on right there, we're gonna need to check it. You wanna check this case? Oh, I can't let you do that. There's a lot of money in here. That's not a problem. We handle this sort of thing all the time. Plus, we have baggage insurance. Baggage insurance? It won't be enough to cover this. Well, if you insist on carrying it, I'm not sure we can allow you on this flight then. You're not sure. Well, if you're not sure, then who is sure? Uh, that would be, um, the, the pilot. The pilot will make that decision. In that case, he and I are gonna have to have a talk. He's not here yet. So, have a seat over there and I'll send him over once he arrives. Okay, 
fine. But wait until Mr. Parker finds out about this. Tiffany's plan to get the case didn't work. What will she do now? Great news, ma'am. I found availability on another flight to Vegas, and it only leaves 45 minutes later. I don't care if it's only 45 minutes later. I need to be on this flight. According to that director woman, you can't be. Oh, really? What does her boss have to say about that? I don't know. Mr. Parker hasn't gotten here yet. Well, why don't we just wait until he gets here? Okay, fine. We'll let him settle it. I'll come to settle it, Papa. Rachel, I need to use the computer. Hang on, I'm looking for a different flight for a passenger. Okay, it's just that I have a security issue. Security issue? What is it? It's that woman with the locked case on her wrist. We need to change her flight. Change her flight? She's with this whole group. Oh, uh, it's the pilot. Uh, Captain Perkins wants her on a different flight. Perkins? Who's that? Captain Walker is on this run. Oh, you didn't hear? He can't make it. Well, I don't know, but that's not up to me. That's why I need to get on the computer. You know what? Fine, I've got her switched. It's all yours. Okay, now, time to change pilots. Did you hear that? They don't have a pilot for this flight. Does that mean the show's gonna get canceled? So, do you got the goods? This one's gonna take a little more work. More work? Like what? I'm gonna need you to get the case from her. No problem. What's the plan? Congratulations, you're now a pilot. A pilot? I don't know how to fly a plane. Oh, don't worry about that. Just act like you do and the first officer will take care of everything. All right, but I better get the case first. That's right. And this is how you do it. Excuse me, miss. We're gonna need to discuss that case. Yes, we do. Are you the pilot? As a matter of fact, I am. And the airline can't allow you on the plane with that amount of cash on you. Why not? Because there are regulations if you're carrying more than 10 grand. What am I supposed to do? We have to film this TV show. Not a problem. I will take the case. But where are you taking it? It'll be safe up in the cockpit with me. I'm oh, sorry, I can't let you do that. Oh, really? Why is that? Because I'm locked to it and I don't have the key. All right, I'll get security and they'll cut it off you. Okay, fine. I do have the key and I'll give it to you. That's all right. The fake pilot got the case with all the money in it. Will he get caught? Victoria, we're supposed to start boarding and the pilot isn't even here yet. I know, neither is that executive producer guy, whoever he is. Fine, then I better make an announcement that the flight's delayed. Wait, before you do that, why don't you go check on the executive producer and I'll go look for the pilot. Okay, but we better hurry. That's what I'm talking about. Perfect. Now we have to hurry and go catch that flight. Who cares about the flight? Let's get out of here with the money. Sounds good to me. Mr. Rutherford, what an absolute honor to be speaking with the president of the network. Well, thanks, Pamela. And to be honest with you, we're all a little nervous here about sending you with that much cash. Oh, it's not a problem. Due to airline procedures, the pilot just had to safeguard it. Oh, okay. By the way, where's your executive producer? I don't know. He's not here yet. Hi. <laughs> I just want to let you know that I'm here. Lady, how many times do I have to tell you? Get out of here. I'm trying to conduct some business. <gasps> Terry, there you are. I'm so glad you're there to make sure everything goes smoothly. Do you know her? Do I know her? Terry Parker? 
Yeah, she's my best executive producer. She's our executive producer? That's what I've been trying to tell you. What would make you think it wasn't her? Because I thought Terry Parker was a man and not so experienced. You mean old? That's right. If it wasn't for her wisdom and intuition, that money would be gone forever. What do you mean, gone forever? It was her idea, I swear. Come on, you two. I don't know what's worse. Losing all that money I trusted you with? Or taking Terry's age and experience for granted? I don't know, Mr. Rutherford. What do you think we should do about it? Maybe we should let you direct the finale of the show yourself. Well, if, if she directs it, then what am I going to do? I don't know, Terry. I guess we're not going to need you anymore. He means you're fired. What? I'm fired? <sighs> Pamela was fired because she judged Terry for her age. Do you think she'll ever change? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching. 